What's going on everybody? Spicy 4K Action here and today just wanted to do a quick review of the Kino Lorber, Kino Lor Lorber, cannot speak today, of the Usual Suspects. This is the 4K UHD disc that did come out I believe a few months ago. Um, I picked this up in the Kino Lorber December sale. I believe it was $14.99. Um, I have just kind of started to dabble into the boutique labels as of last year and Kino Lorber just because of the price point has definitely become my number one as far as boutique labels go and the amount I have. Um, these these 4K discs, I mean, the sales that they have are just incredible. Again, if you, you're new to the channel, I'm not the biggest Blu-ray person. Uh, everything you see behind me is practically 4K, uh, except for those very rare occurrences of stuff that just doesn't show up on 4K. Um, I might dabble into Blu-ray later when I find that a lot of movies I love just aren't going to make it to 4K. But this is one I had never seen before. I picked it up in that December sale. I believe it was $14.99. Still came with a nice slip cover. Uh, there is no reversible artwork on this Kino Lorber release. They seem to do it very rarely, but they do have a few. Um, and then on the inside, it's just your standard Kino Lorber 4K and Blu-ray. One thing I have noticed with Kino Lorber, not that it's a big deal or not, but it's some sometimes they put the 4K on the left side and they put the Blu-ray on the right, and then other releases, they're reverse. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to any of this, but it's just something I've noticed after picking up Kino Lorber. Sometimes the 4K is on the one side, sometimes it's on the other. Not sure why that is. But let's talk about this movie, The Transfer, what I liked about this. This is just an absolutely amazing cast. I, I didn't realize the extent of it until I was actually watching it. Um, this is a nice, easy watch. It's 106 minutes. Uh, this is from 1995, uh, directed by Brian Singer. Unbelievable. Um, you might know who that is. Um, but, uh, this is just a great thriller mystery whodunit. Everyone's trying to figure out who this Kaiser Soze is, this big bad devil guy that a lot of people don't believe exists. Um, I was, I was enthralled from the very beginning. Um, you know, there's a lot of movies that kind of you know, bore me out and I tend to look and do other things, but this one was not one of those. This one is just the, the dialogue, uh, some comedic dark comedy, um, the interactions obviously with the cops and Kevin Spacey in this are just great. Uh, and this kept me on the edge of my seat. I did not know what was going to happen at the end. It was a kind of a nice little twist. So, um, awesome nineties movie as far as the transfer itself. Um, I thought it looked great. Uh, again, this is a first time watch for me seeing it. So got the 4K experience. I thought it looked great. You know, not, not, you know, all, you know, jaw dropping by any means, but just another standard solid Kino Lorber 4K transfer that we've just come to expect. And um, at this price point, you just can't beat it. Um, Benicio Del Toro, obviously Kevin Spacey, there's Stephen Baldwin, Kevin Polak. Chaz Palminteri, Gabriel Byrne, Susie Amis, and then Giancarlo Esposito. If you watch The Mandalorian or if you watch Breaking Bad, he's the bad guy in both of those. It was really awesome to see him in a very young role. I had no idea he was in this movie. It's almost hard to tell it was him at certain parts, but uh, definitely it was awesome to see him as an FBI agent in this. Um, as far as the special features, not sure if you can see that. Um, clearly you might want to pause it if you're looking at it, but I will read through them. Um, it seemed like an extensive list, uh, in the menu when I looked it up, but really there's just a lot of trailers for other Kino Lorber releases, as well as a couple of trailer and international trailers for this movie. Um, there is some audio commentary, two of them, one by the director and writer, Christopher McCreary, who also, I believe, directed or wrote Top Gun Maverick. So just another thing to note there um there's also an auto odd god i cannot speak today co audio commentary by the editor and composer john ottman so that could be really interesting i have not watched any of the commentaries yet i am big on those um but i did watch the interview with the cinematographer newton thomas seigel it does look like a newer interview it's definitely 1080p it looks good um, I did watch the interview with John Ottman, who's the composer for this, and that one was definitely a little bit older, 
more of like the DVD VHS quality type, but it still was informative. It was still a good solid 17 minutes. And if you're into music, music scores, and just the thinking behind, um, you know, what they thought for, for writing this movie, uh, I thought I caught it very interesting. Um, there's a couple other interviews you can get, and there's some featurettes they have. I dove in a little to them, but again, these are all older features that I think were just ported over from the DVD, so their quality is not the greatest. Uh, and all of these special features are on the Blu-ray disc. So the 4K disc is literally just the 4K um, menu. You know, there's no, there's play movie, the audio settings, and subtitles. Other than that, you're not going to get much else. But uh, all in all, this is a great release. I'm happy to add this to the collection. And I look forward to opening up these other Kino Lovers I got in the winter sale um, and watching those for the first time. So you'll see some reviews from me from other Kino Lover releases which will include Dress to Kill, The Score, and In Bruges. So uh, look forward to those. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like this movie, if you picked this up, what do you think of the 4K transfer? What do you think about Kino Lorber's uh, future in 2023? I mean, they just had an absolute killer year taking all of these titles, some from Criterion, some from other big partners, Paramount, and they just keep popping these 4Ks out. It seems, you know, two to three a month. They're just on an absolute roll and tear. And it's just exciting to see what they got in the future. So like, comment, subscribe if you're into movies, physical media, 4K, boutique labels, any of that good stuff. Let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.